Hello friends, my name is Real Emil and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 2. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 6 and in today's episode we are going to be taking a look at the all-wheel drive shootout. For that we need an all-wheel drive car. And luckily we have such a thing. We have the Lancer Delta Integrale Evo. So let's go ahead and click on this and start using it. I clicked something by accident. Um, <laughs> okay, that's not a good thing. Hello, it's a me, a Mario. Anyways, uh, right, I want it in a different colour. I'm gonna go for the blue. Uh, if I had enough time, I'd probably try and do some fancy schmancy livery for this, but I'm not going to do. Uh, but what could that be boost stand? What? Uh, I can't seem to tell. Um, anyways, let's head into the proving grounds. Let's head into the all wheel drive shootout. And for, oh, actually, I'll read the description to you quickly. Uh, what is the who is the fastest off the line open to cars that deliver power to all four wheels? The first place prize is a Wings West Civic, uh, which I'm sure you fans of Rice though are going to enjoy. Anyways, in this we have the Def Adder in reverse, we have Copperhead in reverse, and we have the Diamondback in reverse. So let's head into the Def Adder first. Is that a dark green 2001 Fiat multiplayer with black alloy wheels? Uh, the Fiat multiplayer is not a thing. Like, anyways, this is part something. This is part six. This is technically. Anyways, as you can see, our first three rivals are Audi Mandems. We have Eagle Talons. We have a Volkswagen Bora. And on the back, there is an Eclipse. Um, favorite cars. My favorite. What, do you mean like favorite type of cars? Or do you mean just favorite cars in general? Mafia edition? What? Uh, I'm confused now. Anyways. Ooh, the, the uh, Delta has really good turning. This is so much better than that E-Type I just finished driving. Uh, ooh, okay. Not quite a rally car, though. Can't quite still go over the sticky stuff. All right, Black Panther. <laughs> Mandems. Mandems in their Audi. I knew about Audi Mandems before that. In general. Okay, favorite cars. Uh, 2011 Koenigsegger Gera. Um, 2012 Aston Martin Vanquish. 2013 Ford Focus ST, um, 2013 Fiat Panda Cross, 4x4 trekking thing. Um, I like the. What else do I like? Um, oh, yeah, EK9 Civic, Volvo 850R, um, stuff like that. Pretty cool cars. I have recently started really wanting a first generation Honda Insight. Not because I want to save the planet or anything, just because it's a damn cool little car. Uh, Sim Simmer, who's got the keys to Melancia? Wait, what? Um, oh, interesting thing. Seaman driving German whip, blacked out windows, leaning back. This is an Italian car, not a German whip. Anyways, um, I actually saw today a Fiat Punto with a dealership sticker in the back. And the dealership sticker actually had a Lancia logo on it, which I found kind of amusing. Anyways, 2014 Audi RS3 Sportback. Hmm, interesting car. Um, I will say, anything that's modern German, I'm not a huge fan of it. I.e. Mercs, Audis, uh, BMWs. To me, these days, they all look really samey. Like, I don't know if that's just me, but like, most of them all look kind of the same. But the RS3 Sportback is a cool car. Of course, four-wheel drive, 350 horsepower, I think, in the RS3. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I guess it's more similar to, like, oh, I forgot to mention in the favourite cars thing, uh, the 2016 Civic Type R. Uh, I love that car. Anyways, uh, completely dominated the competition because, of course, hello. Anyways, uh, Mandem is not driving German whip. See a man driving a French whip, blacked out windows, blue and pink. I don't know. I'm not reading that out. Anyways, let's head on to our next race, which goes through Copperhead. BMW M3 hard top drop. Okay, interesting. So that would be like an E46 then. A lot of people seem to like the E46s. They're decent enough cars. Um, if we're talking about favourite generation of M3, for me it's got to be the E36. I do like the E36. Um, the M3 to me is... It's another one of those cars which I'm sure it's very exciting once you're in it, but 
he always comes off a bit tittish when you see one on the road like so. I will say, I saw a, god, I think it was like a BMW 640-something, I can't remember if it was a diesel or not, but it drove past me the other day and it just, oh my god, that thing sounded so meaty, it was unreal. A oh, Honda Beat, okay, interesting, mug and beat, uh, 1994 Suzuki Cappuccino with a bigger turbo, um, yeah, why not, I mean... Oh, um, hmm, strange Japanese K cars. You can't forget the Mazda AZ1. Mazda AZ1 is cool. Um, head desk. Um, why Thunder? What is going on? Uh, June 15 can't come soon enough. I take it that's your moving date. I hate the i8. It looks like a toy. I also hate the. Uh, actually, I don't hate the i8. I don't hate as much as the i3 because that thing is really is an abomination. Here comes the chaps. A Suzuki Casino has an inline free motorbike engine. Indeed it does. Yes, the Auto Zam. That is a cool car. The Auto Zam is pretty damn neat. Um There we go through there. I don't get it why on YouTube the moderators have a Daihatsu Copen. Daihatsu Copen's are cool. Something that Hot Wheels could make. Um I, have you guys seen the new BMW advert because they have like a concept car which is like brown and it's like this is a BMW for the future and it looks horrible um, yes and I'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief because not terrible internet um, yes hopefully not terrible internet because that wouldn't be I mean yeah it would be nice if you had good internet funder because then streams again and streams are fun Anyways, we reached level 9. Oh boy, I've established a relationship with Chevrolet. There are Camaros, but I don't want Camaros. Daihatsu Midget 2. Another one drives the duster. Um, yeah. Daihatsu Midget 2, there's actually one for sale in England last time I checked, and I really, really want one. Have you watched Car Throttle? I do watch Car Throttle. I like most of their stuff. Uh, Project MX-5 is awesome. Um... Their top 10 lists, or top whatever lists, are pretty cool. I don't really watch, like, so much of their reviews and so on, unless it's a car that really interests me, i.e. that Suzuki... Was it the Suzuki Whiz Kid that they did? That was pretty cool. I didn't get a particularly good launch off the line then. Another one drives a duster. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Datcha, you do the maths. Alright, see you later, Ross. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Um... You won't be able to see the Lancia rust right in front of your eyes. Actually, I don't think this one rusts too badly. Um, I really like Lancia Deltas. Like, these are awesome cars. I'd kind of like to have one of these. The problem is these have, like, shot up in value. Like, I, for a good, like, another one. It's not Korean engineering. It's Romanian. A, a Romanian is great. A lot of their videos got taken down. Did they? What for? Uh, Emil watches Black Panther. I do occasionally dabble in some Black Panther. Um, I'd like... To be fair, you know, I don't agree with all of his views and some of them. Emil commented on a Hoonland gaming video. Indeed he did. Uh, I'd watch his stuff as well. He's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean... To be fair, I, Black Panther's actually not a bad guy. I, I do occasionally enjoy his content. He's... Um, one of the more bearable of that type of car YouTuber. Again, I don't agree with all of his views, especially when it comes to NFS 2015. However, you know, I haven't got anything against the dude. Um, you know, there are worse racing game commentators out there, like myself, so don't worry about it. I think they took a bunch of clips without permission. Oh, yes, that. Um... <laughs> Go down job center fam in my Renault Clio. Anyways. Emil likes to slap train. Okay, now you're pushing your luck, buddy. You are pushing your luck. Um, I do not. Well, actually, I mean, I don't hate the dude personally. I've helped out with some of his videos uh, before, but. Eh. Right, here's the thing you gotta realize. I don't. Yes, clearly. Here's the thing. Uh, you can probably tell by the way I actually drive in these racing games. I'm not a huge fan of sort of drifting in video games. 
Um, especially Forza and Meal. No. I wouldn't say I love. Uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't even really say I like. I would say I occasionally watch. So, here's the thing with most content creators, I don't hate them. Like, you know, you can't hate them personally. Unless, like, they're complete and utter ball bags, insert name of various YouTube content creators here. But, it's more just some of their content obviously caters to, you know, they have audiences in which they can cater to. Someone's making a noise. I'm not sure what it is. I'll go check after this episode. I think we are almost done. Do you watch Super GT? Uh, no, I do not. Is that a YouTube channel or is that the, are you on about like the actual Super GT racing thing? Because I'm not sure. Anyways, I can't. I'm trying to work out all that noise is. I think it's the dryer. Um, <laughs> I can hear noises. What are those noises? Anyways, uh, Emil, if you want to check out my latest vid for... Uh, yeah, I... The Spoon EK9, I driven that on GT4 Prologue the other day. The Spoon EK9 is a sick car. I think it's really cool. Uh, YouTube channel crashes into a wall, just like a wall tape. Um, huh? Anyways, there we go. We get another 1,500 credits. Uh, I haven't leveled up anything, so we don't worry about that. And how long have I been recording for? Oh, that is the end of the championship. Um, we finished first in the all-wheel drive suits town. We've been awarded a 2004 Honda Wings West Civic SI and 1,500 credits to go along with it. And as you can see, there is the Civic SI or Civic Wings West SI and it has a mighty dinner table on that bumper. Anyways, friends, that is it for today's episode of the Forza Motorsport 2. Let's play in the next episode. We are probably going to be heading into the Hot Hatch runoff, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, friends, I want to thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell.